Oops. Oh my god. 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 Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Now to read this. This is amazing news. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. Well, please be in English. A trailer? No, this is probably just like a thing. I don't think it's actual. Really. This is amazing. どんな風に見えるのだろうか。いただきの景色。俺一人では決して見ることのできない景色。でも、this new stuff? 
お願いしますお前がコートに君臨する王様ならそいつを倒して俺が一番長くコートに立ってやる勝ち残りたかったら強くなってみろよ落ちた強豪飛べないカラス俺は俺が持っていくコストを呼んでくれエースもう一本プライド以外に何がいるんだ才能は開花させるものセンスは磨くものお前がバレエにハマる質感だお前を叩き潰したいあなたをぶっ倒して全国へ行きます言ってくださいよ孫の代まで自慢できる後輩にやりますから、yeah, well, それを確かめるためにわざわざ試合しに来てんだしでも俺は剣馬に勝つ All right, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it for now. Oh man, that is awesome news to open with. That is amazing news to open with. Awesome. It's going to be a good evening. Yes. I hate that it's so loud. Danganronpa. Is that in free time? Uh. I guess I was in free time. Okay. No, oh, no more free time. We're gonna go to the restaurant today. Bye now. I get such a bad vibe about him. Like, he just has to be the first game's main character.
Oh my god. Lower. Get more frame. I don't know who to suss out in this cast. Usopp? What the hell is that? What's up, Joe? We'll do Smash tomorrow. You gonna be around tomorrow? So loud. Turn it down. I don't think that's gonna help much, but <laughs> okay, sound effects are definitely too loud. Every game I always gotta fiddle with the audio for like twenty minutes first. No. Hm. Will you he go? I don't know that one. Hmm, the apples are guy. Maybe. You must not. Hey, hey, hey. party mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right what the this is your leader's order Hey. 
<laughs> hmm. You fiend. It's all clear now. Stop talking. I'm sorry. I see. He can enter everywhere. What is he talking about? How pitiful. Um I don't know, those cottages look pretty spacious to me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this guy is awful. This is a terrible, terrible person. There's something wrong with you. Subsy, how's it hanging? I see. This game's got some good music. <laughs> this person is a, it's a biatch. Understand? Don't like her. Don't like her one bit. <laughs> um. Hmm. And. Actually, 
See? Judgment! All right. What? Well... All right! <laughs> Did you just call him a dilf? Okay. There's no mistaking it. Then... Ten coins that could give me like ten items. It doesn't have what I need. Oh, what's that? That was that. This is looking kind of sus. Is this, a, is this a reference I don't get? They will come out of your butt. Some 
Some real sickos here. These gifts are very abstract. I want to talk to Nagito and Pekko. Those are the people I'm curious about. Was not accounted for. I guess we should just talk to the chef. What the hell? It's so odd. Pretty sure the chef is in here. Not you. You're not the chef. How was he? They moving around. You guys think they're slick. The ranch and then the farm. I like how clunky this feels sometimes. Very obnoxious. <laughs> it's a snake. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Very ugly. <laughs> I see. I see. Maybe I uh, regret this. It's a word I would use. Shouldn't have talked to him. He's being a creep.
Was a cookbook. There we go. Mm -hmm. You don't like this? Okay. Understand. Anyway, yo, what's up, Debbie? Uh, I haven't played in a couple weeks, and I'm still on the, the first chapter, as you can see. Mm -hmm. oh, she doesn't pay attention. So, I've been good, you know, working. Uh, oh my god. I can't stop drooling. Jesus Christ, this guy's sick in that. My computer was broken for a couple weeks. I just needed a new, a new cooler. So I, uh, I haven't been on my computer because I haven't been streaming. Oh yeah, I've been good. I already know what he's talking about, but I can't say it. Yeah, I played the first one. I really liked it. And I took a break for a couple months and I wanted to play this one for the summer. Uh, but the, those three weeks really messed me up because now summer is almost over. So it kind of loses the, the, the tropical charm. But yeah, I like it so far. I just want to get more into it because it's already been pretty crazy, but I need more. <laughs> I need, I need, I need it to spice up, I need to heat up. How have you been? What you been up to? He's annoying. He's like the big fat guy from the last game. Like every, I guess every game needs like a total Understand. creep. Can't have it without a creep. Well, guess that's about it. He gets better. Yeah, if it's anything like the last game, then for sure. That's because the last game, you just get more and more questions. Yeah. It just gets progressively crazier. Did you have any favorite characters from this game? Summer college and streaming. I wish. Uh, I end up working full time now, so no more, no more summer vacations for me. Even though you're working the semester for that school, but yeah, that's basically this is it. I have a lot to say. Okay, never mind. That was the end of that. Yeah, I just wish I had more time to do this because there's a lot of games that I want to play that I have to catch up on. There's no way this is the only chance. I gotta be able to talk to more people. Thank you. I've been getting like really weird gifts because normally I talk to people based off of presents so I could give it to them. But I have like almost nothing to work with. I really want to talk to specific characters. 
that's why another another part of that too is there specific people that I want to speak to I don't have anything for them. Fuyuhiko and Kazuichi. Fuyuhiko is the Yakuza guy, right? I was just trying to look for him. He didn't show up at our meeting. I might, I might actually talk to him next because I think I have a present for him. Kazuichi. I gotta, I gotta look him up. You have a love, love hate for Nagito? That, that, that has to be Nagito. I'm convinced. I mean, well, that's his name in this one. Whatever the hell his name was in the last game. It has to be him. What is... Like, I don't know. Like Everything just matches up too well. The voice actor, his, like, title. Where is Kazuichi? Uh, Fuhiko. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Soda? He's cool, but you can't socialize with him until after Chapter 3. Really? He's no, he's just not here. You better stop being scary. I got a present for him. Damn, that lot changes things. Yeah, he's really just not here. Okay. Alright, well, maybe there's something else I can give to somebody. I feel like there's more I want to squeeze out of that other guy. He's edgy. Yeah, he wants to be different. I think I'm gonna give uh, the medicine, I mean the thermometer to the nurse. See what her deal is. It's another psychopath. It's just crazy old characters in here. I like Peko. I don't have anything to give Peko. It's an interesting fella. Run on a bridge, huh? Where is this one? There's a lot of questions I have. But I, I'm not gonna get any answers yet until I play more. I have a lot of questions. That just doesn't poop. Um. <laughs> ah, she likes tea. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. Because I do have a... Uh, extra cup of tea. Yo, what's up, Odwin? How you been? What's going on? Yeah, take this damn thermometer. Man, I don't have that energy anymore. I've been good, you know, now that I'm back streaming, and hopefully, I can try to catch up on these games. So, I have a lot to play. I'd like to finish this game by the end of the month, and then what? Time out! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Um. Anyway. 
I want to finish this game by August. Yeah, so hopefully oh, I'm sorry. I'll stream a lot to try to get this out the way. And that's what I'm saying, Deadbeat. It's not adding up. What, what are we? No, no. So if I finish that one this uh, this month, I can finish Persona 4 maybe set in September. Because I have something planned for October. And then after... Stop! Stop it! Leave them on. Leave them on. So hopefully, you know, October will be my little special game. Uh, there you go. Maybe she'll look like Band-Aids. This is crazy. There you go. So, October I'll do my little plan, and then November hopefully I can just do Kingdom Hearts, and then that'll be that. Thing and Romp is very weird, but you definitely have to play the first one, since they're, they're all kind of connected. But so far this one's very loosely connected. <laughs> I like the first one. If you like stories, then yeah. If you like, if you like a good story, I think Dang and Rampa had a good story. Thank you very much. Uh... <laughs> it's like a psychopath. This is like trying to talk to the crazy person on the street. And trying to like defuse the situation so they don't stab you. <sighs> Maybe we get one more free time out the way. Kind of Monka W. She's kind of Mekon W. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. I'm not going to bed. Econ W. I should make that an email. Actually, you gave me an idea. We'll see how I feel about her at the end of the game. Oh my my! I just don't have a gift. I 
Gotta patch it down. Hmm. Trying to steal my snacks? <laughs> Peckle my beloved. I told my friends that and I don't think they were very approved of it. Listen. They they like uh what's the ultimate gamer? Chiaki, Chigaki. Am I confusing with Chisaki from the first game? Yeah, they love they love Chiaki. Hi, Kevin. I'm not, your biggest I'm not sold. I'm not sold yet. I see. That's fine. What? This guy's scheming something. This is an awful angle. Terrible angle. Yeah, no problem, Debbie. Enjoy your dinner. It was a nice chat chat with you. Catching up. Oh man, this place is grody. So I think that's going to be the play. I'm going to try to finish Danganronpa this month. I might have to just go a little ham. We got a bathroom. Office. Oh man, this place is nasty. What the hell? I don't care about the dining hall right now, I know. I want to explore more. Get me out. <laughs> yep. Thanks. Thanks. Ah. I'm not too sure about this guy. Not too sold on him yet. 
going? Man. Aw, oh, man. These are crazy. Good instincts. That character, I'm talking about characters I don't like. So, super difficult. Oh, my God. Those are windows. How pitiful. Come on, now we gotta think of Noggin. Stay back. Night is my domain. All these people are actually insane. Let's make history. Can I get one cohesive sentence out of any of these people? you wait hmm. I apologize jeez Why didn't he pat down Peko's sword? Why would you take that? 
Not possible. Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out! I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Mm -hmm. It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Beast. The beast. Huh? Hmm. Um... What are you thinking? No, 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 no. Sounds so good right about now. Ho, 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 ho. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I don't eat it with a skewer, but. Mm. Mm -mm. Huh. Let's go. Man. You didn't even tell me like where to go. Answer that question. I can go around you, excuse me. Come on. What the hell is I think that this sounds like a horror game. This guy thudding down the hall. Let's go. Naturally. He did say be thorough. I hit someone with a spoon. I see. <laughs> Very strange.
Don't make me repeat myself. What? Here we go, dig it up. Dig up the trauma. We gotta get into it. Need some answers. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kubi? That's enough. What's going on, man? This guy didn't tell me anything about his past. Don't waste my time like that again. You beast. Get into the other character. Such silly talk. So many questions for this game, man. It's a, it's a visual novel, but it's like a murder mystery one. Stop talking. Honestly, I, I told Odd one earlier that you kind of have to play the first one, but huh? so far I think you can get away with it. Muv Love knockoff? Don't make me repeat myself. Apparently, I've only found out about Muv Love because Elena. You're kidding, right? No, 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 no. Much, much longer. I don't even know what it is. I don't remember what it is anymore. Well, it just showed me one thing. I don't know if it was love, love. It was like with robots. That is a sicko. Why did I befriend him? I really like the first one. Um... So I'm hoping to finish this one by the end of the month. There's tons of places. You just gotta think outside the box. Yeah, I think you can kind of follow this game without really knowing the first one. Let's go. Because playing the first one only just gives me more questions, honestly. A lot of things aren't adding up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Took the skewer. Lies. All right. That's enough. Huh? 
I see. Then... Aww. Let's go, Peko. What's up, Spooky Jojo? Bianca, you need some Understood. of those nice, healthy vegan meal. Had a little too many meatballs. Huh? Oh, he looks like a meatball. <laughs> That's weird. Oh man, wait, which character? Are you talking about Biakio? Right. It's a little concerning. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, is he, is he playing both roles? I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow you. I can't follow it. <laughs> what about Grandpappy? <sighs> is your grandmommy or Grandpappy? Stop talking. All right, see you later, Spooky Jojo. Have a good night. this guy. I just don't have anything to give him. Move. Hey. Hmm. Hey, hey. What? Hey, hey! No. Nope. This is an ultimate game. Okay. I think they have this under control. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. Are you okay? It's gonna be fine. Are we good? Can I finally eat? You're too already like, eating! Like mud. <laughs> I, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're not eating? Well, then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. Come. Just a pear. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do. Going on in here. Come so, on. It's the big hurry. Don't stop me. Sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. There's no bathroom in here. What?
There it is. <gasps> it's a blackout. Someone's gonna be dead. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? No one's going to turn it dead. This is. Ow! Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. All right, what was that shocking scene? Uh -oh. I'm sorry, I tripped again. S seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay, an erotic pose. That's obviously a fan service moment. <laughs> I can't take this at all! Mahiru, it's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> there, there's no way I can do that! BT, you walked into the best game ever. Please forgive me! Just forgive me already! Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. I don't even know what to make of this. Hey. Huh? <sighs> What's up, BT? How's it hanging? Yay! Hey. Hopefully, you're doing even huh? better after this. <laughs> what? Are you stupid? You better eat and lurk until you saw this. You just had to speak up now. <laughs> How can you stay silent? Oh my! What happened? Um. Huh? He did. I was good. I was good. I, thanks a lot for rating me again yesterday. Huh? You know, you, you were basically waiting for me to download the game because I didn't even know I needed um... an update. It's a very weird first hour. Hey. For now. Then. All right, let's get some some murder. Some murder. Then. I don't know if you're gonna be around tomorrow, but um, it should be uh either Mario Kart or Smash Bros.
I'm pretty, pretty excited for Splatoon when that comes out because I'm definitely gonna get private lobbies going. That'll be fun. <laughs> Hopefully we get people. Because I don't think you can really use bots in that game. So I, I feel like I'm gonna do Mario Kart. My controller turn off. Not to sleep. I'm going straight to the storage room. The creep. Sorry. Yep. I don't know what doors these are. There's a lot of closed doors here. in there knock on the door what the hell you need to figure out what's going on in there Seems like there's a body in there um you need to check the office You're not Chiaki. Ah. Hmm. Echo and Chiaki. Biakia and Fu Fuel 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 Fuel. Biakia's a guy. I think. Hey. Hey, she wasn't there either. I don't remember seeing her at the at the uh the event. That's one. No hmm. sub Lena. No? That's weird. Hey. I know, I've been graced by a celebrity today. Huh? On this fine evening. The streams anymore. It's grinding out the Tezzy and Final Fantasy 14. Yes. Oh. It's not 
like that. Wait. A murder? Hmm. I don't know what that smells like. Did you play all the Danganronpas, Lena? Oh my god, who's under the table? I think the third person shooter. I want to try it. It's very interesting. I like this one so far. I'm also only one chapter in, so I'd like to finish it by the end of this month. No. No way. Yeah, my friend Nick, he's, I think he's played them all. And he said, no way. He says that the first one has the best trials, and this has the best story. And three is just alright. Nah, this is crazy. I don't like this. Why? What is this? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Are you kidding me? Third is your favorite? Interesting. I have like almost no clue. I have no idea at all what the third one's about. I knew like just a little bit about this one, just like the setting, being on a beach. Blah, 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 blah. But what the hell? Thrills, chills, kills. Could it be? And I think another <laughs> thing that uh, Nick said was that too. That's right. It has like the most value in terms of the story. Like it does the most, and it explains. Of course. The first game a little bit. <laughs> the plot for the third one's dumb. <laughs> yeah. His face is laid down. I can't see his expression. I don't think he's dead. I don't believe it. I just have so many questions. I always play these games and I have so many questions. What is this? C could it be? Why? Phew! What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's a fact. I'm, I'm always working when I get that notification. A body has been discovered. Mogus? Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin!
Hey, um... That's awful. Correct! That's disgusting. Why do you have so many bugs in your house? You're not clean. That's impossible! You're always telling me about these crazy spiders. Live near a field? Yeah, that'll do it. No, no, no. Not me. I don't, I don't like that stuff. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm -mm. I like my nice suburb. That's what I'm saying, Asma. I saw you. That's why I saw you were on. On my grandfather's. You were. You were the. Uh, you were the catalyst. On my grandfather's. Hey. On my grandfather's. What are you saying? Emergency. Uh, this is kind of depressing. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. <laughs> okay. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. By my grandfather's. My grandfather's what? <laughs> I, I can't believe Biakui is dead, man. Where's uh, where's Nagito, man? I need to weigh in on this. I need his insight. All these questions, man. happening you know it's just your average dang and romper game oh. that's all you know how it goes what's going on um understand I won't forgive you! Shut up! Shut up! Ooh. But... Yep. 
Among Us. Yeah, I always that's a, that's a good story. It's a good atmosphere. There's no mistake. He's the one who destroyed the Man. audience. Or, I mean, what if someone who did it? Hey. Twenty one. Sure. Sorry, you wouldn't have done it, Azmat. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Sorry, you would not have believe. done it. I won't believe. Ah, uh, <laughs> you are right. This is the worst. Investigation begins. Nice. Ta -da! Okay, never mind. It's not time. It's the Monokuma file. Some water. Hey, hey. There's some damn water. Soundtrack Fire Hey Hey Spire What's this? You stupid brother You <laughs> think your Twitter profile pick? Damn it! Oh boy. It's all over the place musically, like the rest of this game. <laughs> What do you got? What do you got, Lena? We'll see. 
We'll see if I want to, but. That's your fire clip. There's one way to describe it. Jeez. Discord. Oh boy. <laughs> that looks horrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll switch it over for a week or so. <laughs> I'll let it rock for a little bit. Even though that's mostly for like picking a character. I haven't seen anyone use this for a profile picture. I should make a lot of redemption for that. When I think about it. Raider Among Us? Let me fill up my water bottle. I'll conduct this investigation. I'll, I'll let the music play.
Yeah, let's get you a little hey. testimonials. That's not it. to see that again. It's, it's right. I, didn't, I didn't have to see that again. How um. embarrassing! <laughs> Which moment? This will be the last thing you see of me. Again, can we stop? I'll tell you. What's going on? Why? This is the this is the worst. I can't believe it's Biakuya. We have so many questions. I have so, I have so many questions. Character's annoying. First is the red hair. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. To me. Okay. You uh, better do your best. Sounds super. Do you understand? Uh. Alright, I got to work there. A truth bullet. I should have got a truth bullet for that. Right? 
Jeez. <sighs> Got it. Yeah. I have to worry about his earring. Impossible. Is that is that he's holding it right now? Is it on his, is it his arm? I can see it. <laughs> Let me ask. That was actually insane. Ugh. You know, I really don't appreciate them doing this to me because last game, I would have loved for this to happen. I couldn't stand Byakuya, but I actually liked him in this game. They did that on purpose. That's what I've done it on purpose. Taped to the table. Is this fall, guys? Yeah, the guy fell right there for Goobas. Look, he fell. He hit his head. It's 
because he was wearing these bulky goggles. He fell on his head. The guy fell. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey. Perhaps. I found Jesus. Yeah, he said no thanks. But I did also find Jesus. He was a lot kinder. No Maggies. I don't even know what that means. I can't even. I can't do anything with that. Thanks, Magoobas. I appreciate that. Such good friends I have. I'm so glad. The friends that I've made on the internet. They're always so nice to me. Nothing special about this tarp. I did the goggles. I'm still here. Oh, then why are you still here? Go away. What am I missing? Uh, the bleh. Go away now. Shoo. You're not Charles Barkley. You're just a wannabe. Be gone, wannabe. Be gone. It's a sign of bad health. It needs to be solid. Oh wait, does it actually matter? Ah. And then the power went out. So maybe he took away power from the... Okay. Hajime. Hey. Thanks. Now then. I'm gonna go into the office. I mean, it's the merge room. On my way. Hmm. 
So maybe someone was trying to kill the power. They're overloading it. Gaslight me. <laughs> yep. Hajime. Wow. Oh, I don't like that he's rushing me out. Weird. Hey. Talking about. Well, guess that's about it. What are we talking about? <laughs> Just punched it to death like a mantis shrimp. No? Perhaps? Wow! <laughs> I am ashamed!
I see, I see. Yes! Hey. Are you serious? <laughs> you have a good hearing. <laughs> hey. <laughs> There's Usopp again. Can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my bee. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. I'm not going to retain all that. <laughs> hey. Yep. Yahoo! Person sick. <sighs> hey. Hajime. I see. Hmm. By the way, hey. 
Okay. Um. I won't be fooled. It's true. Why do you lie? Good point. Well, hmm. Hey, let's get Peck outside. Now then. We need a wrench to open our bathroom. I don't know why it's locked. Yep. Hey. Yep. Hey. <laughs> I see. All right. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? 
If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. Hmm. I see. A hypothesis I've just come up with. See? Hey. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. But. Well. It's, it's in the bathroom. Hmm. So... Well? Huh? Huh? Yep. What are you saying? You... Yeah, okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> least even half of my power yet. It's gotta be a way to get in here. Be lost. Hey. Hey. Did you call me? Hey. What's this? <laughs> what? Well, hmm, this is troubling. Ba -ba -ba -loose. I'll leave the rest to you. Jeez, you're right. Hmm. 
That's Open weird. Hajime. This is... Hey. You got tipped off. But... Hey! Yep. Sorry. One second. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Bye now. This is crazy. I need to know, man. Nagito is such a mystery. Hey, oh, well, that was the evil one. What are you doing out here?
the heck? Don't do that. So what I mean is... Just open it. Just let me open the door. There has to be a hole to get in the bathroom. Then there's a skewer, isn't it? Hey! It's finally time! Yeah, you know what? That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Let's now do then, the trial. I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. We'll just go for the trial. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. I'll see you soon. Are you kidding me? 
It's always been there. Happened, sinner. Sinner, now then, let us begin. Sinner. Hey. <laughs> well, now. What's this? I... Wah -wah? You masochistic mascot! Special bleeding service! <laughs> See ya later! Huh? What's going on?
the hell? It's the health hazard. Huh? I remember this scene. Very familiar with this stuff. <sighs> However. Mm, exciting. Welcome! Ta -da! Why, you? Don't fuck with me! I can't believe that he's dead, man. Any skills? That's a very yeah. odd. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Doing it. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer that. is and vote for who done it. If oh, you vote damn. correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Yes. Most definitely! There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Such oh. a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair! So there's no need to worry! I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course! You hate me that much? Now, let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. 
Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath a table. Then, let's start with that mystery. What button? What is that? What a lot. Why was Biaku? place like that his body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall after the killer murdered Byakuya they probably moved the body there huh why obviously by hiding the body they tried to delay its discovery like a dog burying a bone why was beyond in a place like his body was under at the very back of the after the killer murdered Bi they probably moved the body there no that's wrong yep no I don't think the killer moved the body I love each coast voice actor huh why? Try to remember like what that the body looked talking. like when we found it under the Very table. Sus. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. What? The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think?
You know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna turn this in. Crap! What was he doing during the party? He was checking people. Oh, was an accident. Crap. During the party, I don't get it. What is it? Connected to what he was doing during the party. It doesn't say. I know what he was doing, but it doesn't. This one. Maybe it's this. I gotta look this up. Already started. This is the first time I ever have to look anything up. Because of the knife? That doesn't make any sense. I can prove it with this! It makes no sense. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. 
would like to hear this. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. That's a little annoying. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? That's easy. If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, that maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, that one. like for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hams must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's wrong! No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles we found under the table, he could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. This is obnoxious. Okay. If you just use common, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality. That's what happened. So those goggles were planted. The killer brought them to the crime scene. 
damn it! If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knives. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned. And the killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use them, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark! I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene! Because if they used no- This makes no sense. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark! I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. This is a really weird. No, Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party. We found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about it. just wasting our time. It's main dish. We're so off course. Dude, you totally mean that in a perverted way. I see. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Duct tape. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't classic. have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. Total classic. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You think so too, right, Hajime? I can prove it with this! Everyone! Can you please take a look at this? What's with his hair spike? It's like wiggling. Hey, 
the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Ugh. You should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. His strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. Yeah. There's your there's your booba fix. Your fix. <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder <laughs> in the first place. They have not stopped saying among us. Just just have not stopped. All day. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. I see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? The table but painting them with glowing the paint? It. It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means, whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means, it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <gasps> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Ready? 
that's not what happened. Maybe that's short, it's just really tall. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. Oh. That's impossible. Yeah, they got rid of Biakria. Huh? Why is it impossible? <laughs> because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Since Who did it? I don't remember. She could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in, not even before the. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened mm. to your guard duty? Since Pekka was in, she could have caused the. That's impossible. Huh? What? Because I was not in the off, not even before the blackout. I agree with that. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. I did it. And yeah, it's nothing like that at all. Nekumaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I... 
I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you're so insensitive. If she Ooh, locked sucks. herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I love him. I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? But don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Seriously, stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo-Turo cooked the food! How suspicious! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Did you eat? Hmm. Alright, let's try it. I don't remember eating. Now that you met, you brought food to the off just a little bit from. There might have been some lax. Taro Taro cooked the. I, I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Crap. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't... No, that's wrong! Right idea, wrong place. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it, too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? <laughs> Cease this bickering! Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back yeah, to that guy doesn't play the around. blackout. Does not yeah, play. yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? 
people are awful. Very, very, very strong. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! No. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm Did they throw a... Maybe they used a remote... They probably... It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge. I agree with that. It's just as Mahiru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause if the irons, then the killer had to go to the storage room and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the if the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. All right, all right. I think I get it. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Hams died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and use the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Indubitably. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! <laughs> I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. But even so, I feel regret. 
If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because... They're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well... You have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. <laughs> for now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately... It's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because... there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. <gasps> me too! Please, take me home already! <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy! S stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think... Did you say something? Cuz, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. A clue, you say? You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me... What's this clue you're talking about? First of all... Let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. Mm. No, not that. I mean before that.
Let's try examining the situation. Mahiru's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Here with that cord. Hero must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. You know, so Vegas. There was a blackout. There's no Clamp. way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Holy crap, Lois. I can prove it with this. Can you turn the desk lamp on? They used its power cord. Holy crap, Lois. Power cord? They Pina. could have felt their way to that table Pina. using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. Seems very forgiving. I like that. And oh, it's substructural. There's only one person here who could have done that. How's it hanging, man? Ooh. Pizza Hut? There's nothing wrong with Pizza Hut. Don't give into the hype. A lot of people trash Pizza Hut. It's good. It's good. You're the only one! Can't believe it's him. Nagito. It was you, wasn't it? M me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout. The only person near the power cord was you. This the Hershey's dessert. Get the chocolate uh, breadsticks. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table. He was cleaning. There you go. I see. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If it, so, that's all right, man. you would have had a chance just, to hide the knife. I, I find that's how I that's, that's how I go out. That's perfect. If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning. You're the only one who could have done it. That's for a better way. Seriously. That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, 
That was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard, and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> well, just admit it already! Oh. That's a quick one. <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Nagito, say something. I have to wait until this is done so I can confirm a suspicion. But I can't believe it. Ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. How oh, another joke, uh, Murray. How wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? Have oh, another joke, Byakuya. Day three, no lean. Day six, no lean. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> I'm skeptical. I'm very skeptical. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? Oh, but that away. I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And... Well, you all saw how that played out, but with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. J just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm too disdainful to actually try at anything. But I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. What do you mean by that? That's quite the hobby you have there. But what do you mean like, by that? now's not really the time to bring it up. And nothing about Pizza Hut. Stuffed crust. On hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody him. else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. No stuff, Christ. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Byakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. No stuff, Christ. Shame. In doing so, 
Nagito was Shake. able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Mm. It's the baby face. Crap. Oh, yeah. Crap. I oh, see. Attention. Ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. E enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? Oh the despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Fuck? Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, is Nagito really the killer? Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Yeah, I can't stand her. I can't stand her. I, 
I think it's strange that... The killer is so obviously Nagito! Um... He has already confessed. Um, you know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! And Michael Jordan. He's killed Bianchio with the knife he hit! Oh, never mind. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch! Then let's prepare to cast our votes. Needs to be the autopsy. I, I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagito. Um. Okay, so it's gonna be the autopsy. What about it? Hmm. On the night. He has already confessed. Um, you... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakia with the knife he hit. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? It was a skewer. The hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. I can get the, the Chiaki hype. On Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? And way more That's time. That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. <laughs> no, no, not a whorehouse. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove Crazy. that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? My no lame. one else can be the killer. It has like to be you. Hey, boring. don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like... During the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Yeah, these guys are kind of lame. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! They're all, like, deranged. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. First castle's better. Mm -hmm. If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Mm. Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. But what about your hearing? Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me. No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? I can prove it with this! Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Mm. Isn't that right, Yibuki? Oh, reals? Come on.
one who told him, remember? When everyone was shouting during the blackout? Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me you know deep with your like? knife of truth. Can I pause this? This is like if every single character was the author from the first game. I just figured it out. Hey, what's up, Witch Queen? How's it going? Almost every character is like the author from the first game. I've just figured it out. Why well, I can't stand any of them. I just, it just clicked. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the oh dark... Oh my goodness. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. He was just gonna take this to the grave. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. Yo, Mark. what the hell? What's going on here? What's going on? This, this is... Damn, it must really be late. Ow! I know, these trials are always longer than I expect. What's this on the shelf? What is that? That's Ayanami Ray. You, know, you don't know about Ayanami Ray? The goat? Where, where is it? How's it going, Merc? How's your evening? <laughs> After getting shoved out from under the table, One of the, I was just as confused the weirdest as you guys. Animes ever. I lost sight thank of the glowing you. paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, mm. and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. Huh. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? It took a lot of effort to get that From gift to fit. From the very fit. beginning. It was very the idea annoying. to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. It was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. Streams going What good. happened after that? Even I don't know. Very uh, longer than I expected, failed? again. But... The then you're not the one who you killed Byakuya? You have to. Then it's we're right good. back to square one! It's really good. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Oh my god. What other word is brimming with so much despair? I just wasted my time. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your um, best and move there, forward. It's a, Rising to the challenge Danganronpa. again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. I don't think Danganronpa is all that popular, though. Twenty-one. 
it's still kind of low key, so that's probably why. That's insane. Get it, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much, Witch. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna be trying to beat this game in August, so I'll be playing this a lot more. But I also do community nights. Um, tomorrow, I'm playing uh, Mario Kart. Of course, everyone is all welcome. What? What's this? Well, now. Thought it was Persona. You beat this in a week? I wish I had that time. Maybe from eight to five, I'm nine to five, I'm blocked out Monday through Friday. Yeah, the first game took me like almost forty hours. You thought it was Persona? No, I have to get back to Persona though. Now then, what are you gonna do? Agus, I was talking to Agus in Persona. Oh, okay. Because that was too slow anyway. Hey, Agus came, came in here like the winter. <laughs> and of course, there's no like, 10 billion dollars either. February You're so March. evil. I still haven't beat Persona. So that'll be September. I gotta be honest, y'all. I think I gotta cut it here. I can't keep going. All right, I gotta take a time out. I love Persona 4. I love it. It's just like having a, it's just coming back and forth and it's just so many other games. I'm gonna beat it though. Cause I just found Kanji. Yeah, I, I have to take a time out here. It's, it's already so late. Oh no, stop it. Stop. Oh. I'm Mona Me, and my heart is throbbing like Turn crazy off. right now. Turn it off. Okay. So, I, I, really, I really like Kanji. Kanji's awesome. I'm gonna see if I'm trying to raise somebody. Yeah, I, I, uh, I really pushed it today, but <laughs> I like Kanji. Where's my, uh, not here. I don't know if I'm going to do this, uh, tonight, tomorrow. Cause tomorrow's like Mario Kart. That's community night. Is there anyone we can raid? Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Oh, I know who we can raid. Join my discord though. So you can find out my, what I'm going to play. Tomorrow's Mario Kart 8 on the switch. Monday will probably be, Monday's going to be that other one i appreciate y'all oh no kami's getting off monday i'll, I'll play dino rampa streaming daily no so i so i've been messing around with my schedule it's probably going to be sunday monday wednesday and then if i have time friday saturday but those are the days i can always guarantee so i want to give myself time to do my own stuff. Alright, we actually... I don't know if we really have anyone to raid. So I'm just gonna go to bed. But if you want live updates, you can join the Discord. We hang out there. Thanks for rocking with your boy.